Good morning, Christ the King. I have these amazing sage palms across the street from my house. And so I thought, how cool on this Palm Sunday to be able to look out and see something to remind me of waving the palm branches and waving those palms that I'm not getting to actually wave as I enter church, but I can look out and see them. So we didn't get to actually go into church and, and wave palm branches yesterday, but then I started thinking more and there's this word called triumphant. So triumphant's a funny word, triumphant. So we walk into church every Sunday and I don't think about being triumphant. I walk into church, it's just church. And then I started thinking about the fact that I haven't gotten to go to church in almost a month. I haven't got to sit in Sunday church. I haven't got to take communion. I haven't got to do any of that. And that's kind of sad. Then I thought, started thinking about that first Sunday that I get to go back. I get to walk in and I get to see all of my people and I get to see everybody I haven't seen in a whole month. And then all of a sudden, I realized just exactly how exciting that was going to be. I got to think about how exciting my kids would be and how exciting adults would be to go back to school and to go back to work and to even go to a Mexican food restaurant and eat chips and queso and all those things that we really kind of take for granted that we do on a daily basis. These are just things we don't think about. To be that excited about something. Maybe that's what triumphant is. So then I started thinking more about this triumphant. And these first Jesus followers were triumphant. And they were triumphant about Jesus. Am I triumphant about Jesus? Hmm. So these first followers of Jesus were so triumphant that they waved palm branches when Jesus was entering Jerusalem. And they were waving them saying, Hosanna, son of David. Hosanna, you have come to save us. You are our savior. How excited am I about Jesus? These people were so excited that they were like jumping for joy at Jesus. Do I do that? Hmm. So then I thought, hmm, maybe I can be more excited like I am about that chips and queso. When I go to church and when I take communion and when I go back to church the first time and when I do all those exciting things, when I wave those palm branches, maybe I can get as excited as I am when that unlimited bread bowl comes or when those you know all those exciting things that we're missing or we think we're missing so think maybe what does triumphant mean so as we prepare for this palm sunday and passion week at our homes and as we prepare for next sunday's easter sunday and Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday, Friday, and all those things, let's get excited and prayerful and watchful in a different way. Let's get excited for that glorious time when we can be back together and glorious resurrection with Jesus. God be in my head, God be in my heart, God be on my left, God be on my right. Amen.